Thank you very much, uh, Chair, and uh, congratulations to you on your new role. Could I take this opportunity to welcome the leaders' ongoing comments uh, and positive contributions towards the investment in our roads, particularly roads in northwest Surrey. But can I also say that whilst politics is a robust undertaking, and it's right that we take our message forcibly to the public, particularly during election time, it's also incumbent upon us not to seek to mislead the public and certainly not to spread misinformation, even falsehoods. Yeah. And so I was surprised when I came across a Liberal Democrat election leaflet uh, in the elections just past, which said, and I quote, Conservative councils to slash spending on roads. It goes further, and I quote, uh, Mr. Chairman, rather than investing money to tackle Surrey's pothole epidemic. This county council is planning to cut future highway spending and make the situation worse. That, Mr. Chairman, is simply untrue. But it goes further. Indeed, it's worse than that, because in the same leaflet it says, and I state, councillors' individual delegated highway budget of £100,000 is completely abolished from 24-25, with an emphasis on those two words, completely abolished. That is also simply untrue. And so will the leader take this opportunity to agree with me that the leader of the Liberal Democrat group on this council take the opportunity here today to apologize to his colleagues in this chamber and to the residents of Northwest Surrey, particularly the residents who receive this leaflet, and to apologize for spreading misinformation and falsehood. Thank you. General Riley. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And I make no apology at all for following on from what uh, Mr. Hulley said uh, at the beginning of this session. All, they say all's fair in love and war and politics, and, and that's fine. But there is a difference, a big difference, between, if you like, at the margins, the being economical with the actuality and a descent into outright mendacity. And that is what, as Mr. Hulley said, and I'm going to repeat it, we saw on the issue, I'm going to just be sp specific, on the allocations given to us as councillors, to 100,000 to do resurfacing work in our own divisions. Mr. Chairman, when I came onto this council not that long ago, 2017, the allocation for each of us was, I think, about £20,000, which could do virtually nothing. Thanks to Mr Oliver and his administration, that amount went up to 50000 first, and then doubled to 100000 There has been and never will be any question that that amount of money, that 100000 is under threat. It never has been and it never will be. Indeed, as Mr Oliver and indeed, Mr. Dinas and Mr. Lewis may be able to confirm that in the discussions that I had in my role as Select Committee Chairman, the discussion was whether, because of the inflation, we would increase the allowance from maybe 100,000 to maybe 120,000. Because of the budget, we weren't able to do that. But Mr. Dinas, I think, gave a, a, an assurance to all councillors that if their projects that they put in for the 100,000 actually because of inflation went over 100,000, that would, that, that the, still, the projects would still be funded. This is an administration that is absolutely committed to us as members being able to deliver for our residents in our divisions. So, you know, I would say with great respect to our Liberal Democrat colleagues, don't descend into this kind of nonsense. Because on our side, if you do, we will be unremitting and unrelenting in exposing that. And our residents are not fools. They can see when people are just playing silly politics, gesture politics, and those who are serious about delivering for our residents. Um, I'm a little bit dismayed. I thought the last election that I fought and won, amazingly high numbers, but... Having said that, did I put in my manifesto anything about county? It is a local election. 
and it should reflect what your local borough is doing. Nothing to do with the council. If it's affected certain things, you could say that. I've done that in the past, like closing the edge, the youth centre. But I didn't bring it into this election because it is local. But hey-ho, I must admit I'm lucky. I didn't get a single piece of paper from the other four parties. So I think they thought Jan's in it, let's give up. So I'm being honest here. But having done 22 years here, I do have some experience. But I do get dismayed when I hear about, and I've seen paperwork, where there's been outright lies said about county. There is no need. Grow up, all of you. You're, re you're responsible for Surrey in this election, we had, not anything else. So Surrey is apart from the boroughs. Deal with the boroughs. But I'm so pleased, I have to say um, to our leader, that I was led to believe, I think is the correct wording, that we were going to lose the 100 and go down to 50. And I've got to tell you guys, when they said there was the 100 a couple of years back, I was in like a rat. I went in all, all, all four years now, are allocated, so they can't go back on them. Some are going to be a bit short, and I'm coming on their kindness because they helped me. But that's the way you do it. If you're an active councillor, you know your poor areas, and you go in, and when there's a chance, like County have given me with this money, use it. And then don't keep blighting on about what they're not doing at the moment. Deal with the issues. Thank you very much. Thank you.